Top 10 Best Things to Do in Bora Bora Ever wondered what makes Bora Bora's cobalt blue waters so irresistible? Have you ever dreamt of staying in those iconic overwater bungalows? We get it, the allure of those bungalows can be hard to resist, making it challenging to explore the many fantastic things Bora Bora has to offer. While it's tempting to lounge on your bungalow's deck, soaking in Mount Adamanyu's views and taking refreshing dips in the lagoon, there's a world of unique adventures awaiting your discovery. In this video, we'll guide you through the top 10 best things to do in Bora Bora. So, before you leave this French Polynesian paradise, make sure to sign up for some of these unforgettable activities. Number 10. Snorkel with Sharks If you're unsure about what to do in Bora Bora, other than swimming and sunbathing, try snorkeling with sharks. Don't fret, these little sharks are not harmful to humans, and you'll be in shallow water where you can stand. Join other snorkelers, hold onto a rope, and watch as a guide tosses out fish bits to attract a group of black-tipped reef sharks. It's an exciting experience to see them darting around to grab the food. Number 9. Bicycle Around Bora Bora Biking in Bora Bora is a super fun activity. You can go all around the island on a bike easily. Just rent a bike and start riding. The road by the coast is smooth and flat, stretching for 20 miles. As you pedal, you'll pass charming fishing villages, see old Polynesian temples, and enjoy breathtaking views at different spots. Plan around four hours for a bike ride to take it all in. It's a great way to explore and have a good time on the beautiful island of Bora Bora. Number 8. Chill at Matera Beach This beach is amazing with its white sands and clear lagoon water. One of the best in Bora Bora, maybe even the very best. Matera Beach is about a mile long on the southern tip of the island. It's a public beach, so you can relax on the shore and take a swim. The water is calm and it's easy to walk in the sandy beach. There are cool coral areas where the fish hang out, so snorkeling is excellent here. Lay out your beach mats and towels under the coconut trees and enjoy a chill day. There are also some affordable cafes and restaurants along the water where you can grab a bite or a drink when you're hungry or thirsty. Number 7. Snorkel in the Lagoonarium The Lagoonarium in Bora Bora is a natural part of the lagoon, not made by people. It's a safe place for snorkeling and guides will be there to help you. It's close to the St. Regis Bora Bora Resort and owned by a family. It's great if you want to see lots of different sea animals in one place. You can see turtles, stingrays, eagle rays, and sharks. There are also colorful tropical fish like parrotfish, butterfly fish, and jackfish swimming around you. If you're lucky, you might even see dolphins playing in the water. The Lagoonarium is especially good for families with kids or if you're new to snorkeling. Number 6. Try the Local Beer Make sure to taste the island's local beer when you're here. The traditional beer in Tahiti is called Hanano Lager, and they've been making it since 1955. Hanano gets its name from a white flower found in the South Pacific. It has a bitter and crisp taste. Some people really enjoy it, but others might prefer a different regular beer from the local store. The good thing about Hanano beer is that it's brewed right here, so it's not as expensive as the imported beers that have high taxes. Just a heads up, the legal drinking age in French Polynesia is 21. Number 5. Hike up Mount Pahia Mount Adamanyu and Mount Pahia are two cool places to check out in Bora Bora. Climbing Mount Pahia is a bit tough, but it's a really exciting thing to do on the island. The best part is the amazing view from the top. You can see the beautiful lagoon. Not many people go hiking on the trails there, so you can enjoy the outdoors without a crowd. The trail starts near the middle of a toppy, and it's pretty easy to follow. But don't be fooled by the mountain's size, it's 2,159 feet tall. Climbing Mount Pahia is hard and steep. You go through a thick jungle, and there are five short and super steep parts where you can use ropes to help you. Coming back down is even trickier. For safety, it's a good idea to have a guide with you if you want to climb Mount Pahia. The whole hike is supposed to take about six hours, but some people take up to eight hours to come back down. Number 4. Stay in an Overwater Bungalow to have the best time in Bora Bora, you can stay in a special kind of house that's built over the water. These houses are made of local materials like pentanimous palms and wood, and they usually have roofs made of dried leaves. They stand on tall posts in the water, so you can see the clear blue lagoon right beneath you. A fun way to start your day is by jumping from your house's deck into the water for a swim before breakfast. Some of these special houses also have see-through panels in the floor so you can watch fish swimming under your feet. Number 3. Learn to SUP Learning to stand up paddleboard SUP is one of the best things to do in Bora Bora. 
SCP is just a cool way to say you're learning to stand on a board and paddle on the water. If you already know how, great. Just have fun and work those core muscles. For beginners, start by kneeling on the board to get the hang of balancing. Sure enough, you'll feel confident enough to stand up. Borbora's Lagoon is usually calm, making it the perfect place to learn. And if you fall in the warm water, no worries, it's all part of the fun. While you SCP, keep an eye out for fish and stingrays, get some exercise, and enjoy the unique experience of being on the water. Most resorts provide free SCP boards, so take advantage of that and make the most of your time in Bora Bora. Number 2. Eat at Bloody Mary's When you're in Bora Bora, you must try eating at Bloody Mary's. The restaurant is made of bamboo and has a sandy floor, giving it a cool tiki bar look that you might see in a movie. It's a popular spot especially for celebrities like Pierce Brosnan, Jimmy Buffett, Paris Hilton and others who attract paparazzi. Despite its fame, Bloody Mary's keeps a relaxed and fun atmosphere with wooden tables and simple stools. What's really special is the fresh fish they serve, caught by local fishermen just a few hours before. So, if you go, make sure to order the delicious fresh fish for a fantastic Bora Bora experience. And number 1. Pet the Stingrays Every afternoon in the Intercontinental Bora Bora Resort and Thalasso Spa, you can see wild stingrays being fed on the beach. To join in, you simply kneel in the water and the stingrays swim around you, gently brushing their smooth and silky bodies against your legs. If you want, the guide can give you a piece of fish to feed the stingrays. The mouth of a stingray is under its body, so it might climb up your arm to suck up the fish. You can also pet or stroke the top side of the stingrays. Their skin feels soft and slippery. These stingrays are used to being fed here, so they're not usually dangerous as long as you avoid touching their stingers. Petting the stingrays is one of the most unique experiences in Bora Bora. It's important to stay calm when they approach you, so you don't accidentally hurt them by moving suddenly or stepping on them. Thanks for joining us on this adventure through the top 10 best things to do in Bora Bora. If you enjoyed the video and found some exciting activities to add to your bucket list, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel for more travel inspiration and share your thoughts in the comments below. Have you been to Bora Bora or do you dream of visiting? We'd love to hear your experiences and plans. Stay tuned for more amazing destinations. And until next time, happy travels.